And here in North Mississippi, some high school students new to voting are getting a head start on picking their presidential candidates. WCBI's Tom Ebel joins us now live in the studio with the details. Tom? Emily, some juniors and seniors at the Mississippi School for Mathematics and Science will be voting for the president for the first time in 2016. Today, students got a taste of voting in a mock primary and have a big decision to make. I plan on voting for Rubio. I'm voting for uh, Bernie Sanders this year. I'm going to go Republican this time, and I'm going to vote for who I want to win. <laughs> I'm also voting for Bernie Sanders. Going to the polls. That's what these Mississippi School for Mathematics and Science students will be doing this year. MSMS held a mock primary today, giving students the chance to see what it's like to be a part of the process. We want them to understand that you know these are the people that are going to lead the country um, throughout you know their adult lives, and that they need to be involved. And if they want change, they need to vote. Young Democrats, Republicans, and Independents chose which candidate they wish to represent them in the presidential race. Students hope their fellow classmates will use the mock election to understand the voice they have with a casted ballot. A lot of us, you know, we tend to complain about. Um, the state of our political system and who's in charge, but if you don't vote, it's hard for that to be justified. I think everyone needs a voice whenever it comes to what's going on in the country, and you hear a lot of people complain about what's going on, but they don't go vote, and I think that we can change a lot of what's going on. 77% of MSMS students voted in the mock primary. On the Democrat side, Bernie Sanders received almost 85% of votes. And Republican Marco Rubio got the nod from students, receiving just over 34% of the votes. All right, thanks, Tom, for that report.